Hello everybody, Mobius1 here, bringing you another Star Wars Galaxies emulator video. Today we're going to be talking about stat migrations. Um, you've probably heard people mention stat migrations in the past, and if you're an experienced Galaxies player, you already know everything you need to know about this. But for those of you that are new, this is a very... Another one of those subjects that the game does not really tell you anything about whatsoever, and if you don't, you know, know what it is, then you could be missing out on a lot of stuff. Um, so stat migration basically lets you reallocate your stats to have a different combination of health, action, mind pools. And what I mean by that is if we open our character sheet, you can see here we actually have nine stats. And I talk a lot about these in the buffs and armor video where we talk about like armor encumbrance because that's kind of a big part of what these are. But I'll just do a real quick rundown. You have three primary stats. You have health action and mind and each primary stat has two associated secondary stats health has strength and constitution action has quickness and stamina and mind has focus and willpower the first of these two uh mind or these two secondary stats excuse me uh the first one listed determines how much of that health pool is drained whenever you use a special attack we'll get to get into that in a little bit the second one is how quickly that pool regenerates. So, for example, if you start taking health damage, the more constitution you have, the quicker your health will come back. Um, and same goes for stamina, for action, willpower, for mind. Now, the the first one, though, is a little, might be a little bit more difficult to understand. So basically, like if I hover over strength, it says strength refers to the ability to exercise brute force and physical activity. The stronger and healthier a player is, the less health points are expended for any given physical activity. So what you might not have noticed, and I, I covered this also in my Why Am I Dying video, every time you use a special ability, you actually hurt yourself. Now, how much you hurt yourself is determined by a couple different things. First is determined by what move you use. So every special attack has a hidden like formula that some numbers are plugged into, and that determines how much damage you hurt yourself by. One of the numbers that's plugged in comes from the weapon. So you see this pistol that I have right here has, when you examine it, a special attack cost health 18, action 48, and mind 18. What this basically means is that pistols are an action draining weapon, which means if your folk, uh, if your main profession is like pistolier, then essentially you want to have more, or I guess I should say ideally, you want to have more points in action than you do in health or mind, but that's not entirely true if you plan on fighting buffed, and I'll explain that a little bit later. Uh, we're going we're gonna to assume for a little bit that you're fighting unbuffed, okay? Which you really shouldn't do, but it's, Im what's, it's important to understand this uh, before we talk about what you should be doing. So if you're, plan if you're a pistolier, these numbers are plugged into a formula, and then so is your uh, strength, quickness, and focus. And the result of this formula will be exactly how much damage you do to yourself when you use a special move. Now, because the health and the mind here are only 18 and the action is 48, if you have the same strength, the same quickness, and the same focus, you will end up doing roughly three times as much damage to your action pool as you would your health and mind. So, to counter that, you would want to have more points in quickness than you do in focus and strength. With me so far? Okay, good. Um... The reason having buffs changes things up quite a bit is because doctor buffs, which doctors can only buff your three health stats and your three action stats, are much, much stronger than entertainer buffs. So entertainer buffs buff your mind, focus, and willpower. Now, since doctor buffs are much stronger than entertainer buffs, that means that your health and action secondaries will always be much greater than your mind secondaries, which means if you use a special attack while buffed, even if you have all nine of your stats buffed, you will always do more damage to your mind than you will your health or action, even if you're using a weapon where mind is not the highest in the special attack cost. Did you get all that? So even though this pistol 
does more damage says in the special attack cost that it does more damage to your action than it does your mind if i were to be buffed and use special attacks with this pistol i would be damaging my mind more than my action all right it's it's kind of confusing but it, it makes sense if you look at the pools because right now i don't have buffs so but i will in a minute because we're going to be testing a few different things um, so it's just what you need to understand is that if you do plan on fighting buffed, which you should, you want to have more points in your mind stats than you do your health or action because that it's going to help compensate for the fact that entertainer buffs are not as powerful as doctor buffs. So in this character sheet, there's a button at the bottom here that says stat migration. And if we click that, we get a whole bunch of sliders, one for each of our stats. So this is one of my only tunes that I have not had a stat migration on yet. So it says, important note, stat migration targets set in this window will not be applied until you visit an image designer. These targets will be used when an image designer migrates your stats. So what you could do is you could play around with these sliders, set them to whatever you want, and unfortunately when you click OK, nothing changes because an image designer needs to apply those changes. So basically what you're setting here is just what you want. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to set everything to zero. Now these ranges will be different depending on what species you are. So I'm a human on this character. So I have quite, a human has quite a bit of flexibility uh, as far as what they can set their points to. And that's one of the benefits of being a human. If you're another species, you may have, you may be a little limited on how many points you can put into a particular pool. Um, but if I set everything to zero, I have 1,800 points as a human to play with. I want to max out my mind. Just because I always, I'm going to fight buff all the time. I'm going to put every point possible into mind. Um, willpower is how quickly your mind pool regenerates. So I want to actually put that up. I'm going to put that up maybe around 1,000 total. So I have 100 points less or 100 fewer points in willpower than I do mind. Focus, then, is how much mind is used whenever I use an ability, and I'm going to put the remaining 500 points into that. Now, honestly, since I always fight buffed, I don't care about my health, strength, con, action, quickness, or stamina, because when a doctor buffs me, those are the six stats that I'm going to have buffed, and those are going to be a lot higher than these three. And that's what I want. That's how I like it. Um... If you were fighting unbuffed, obviously you would want a much different distribution of stats. Um, one that has actually some points in the the uh, handbar that your weapons you know drain from. But fighting buffed, you want your mind as maxed as possible. After that, you need to find an image designer. Now I've already found one. We're already this is an image designer tent. All image design, you know, actions have to be done within one of these tents. Uh, I'm in Thede on Naboo. This is right outside of the cantina. There's one in Coronet, and I think there's one in Bestine. Uh, maybe it's Moss Entha or Moss Espa. I don't know. It's not Moss Isley. But this is Tortilla. Tortilla has volunteered to give me a stat migration uh, since Tecora is not available right now. But uh, let's... Let's see what's involved. So first of all, I think we have to be grouped. So. All right. So yes, we are going to group. Now she's going to use her ability or stat migration command or whatever it is to be honest with you i've never played an image designer so i don't know what it looks like from her perspective um though takora will be helping me with a video on that eventually so you guys will get to see that eventually but for now from our end from the recipient's end we just have to wait we will get a pop-up uh once she starts the the image design sure she is just one minute no problem all right. Now there is one, uh, a couple other things I think I should mention. First of all, any changes that you make to this window here will be reset if you travel using a uh, shuttle port or a star port. 
Now, I've never tested that, so I don't know if that's 100% true, but it, it, I believe that is what happens. I, that's what I've heard. Um, we could test that a little bit, too, just to make sure. But it's important to know that if you, like, set these and then you have to travel to the image designer tent, you may have to redo them. Um, so you always want to do that uh, last. Am I making a show today? Smile, you're on candid camera. You're on movie camera. All right, so this is the image design window. This pops up. Um, we don't really have to do anything here because all that we are getting is, it says here, migrate stats, yes. Now there is a cooldown that we have to wait. So it says time until committable, three minutes and 40 seconds. So we do have to wait roughly four minutes before that we can accept these changes. At once this reaches zero, it'll say accepted by designer. She has to click accept. This will say this will switch to yes. If they want, if the image designer wants to charge you, they can set a required payment here. And then uh, hollow emotes are just like little gestures that uh, that an image designer can can sell you. That uh, will be like um, you would type a command in, and it makes this little hologram appear over your head. It's just kind of for funsies. Um, now, image designers can also redo your characters, like like all the stuff that you set in character creation, with the exception of gender and species. So, what these two preview windows for are, you have a before and after. So, like if I obviously since I'm wearing armor, any changes that she'd be making, I would not be able to see. But you could uh, you could use those there to kind of see what your what your character looked like before the changes and after the changes. Um, I'm going to offer some credits, though I'm not sure. Oh, look, I don't have any credits on this tune. So I'm just going to tip her from my main afterwards. Um, but yeah, so we just have to kind of sit and wait. And uh, luckily for you guys, you don't have to sit and wait. Okay, so we're down to five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, ready. So now she has to accept. And once accepted by the designer, then we can click accept. And just like that, our health bars change to reflect much, much, much more mind than we previously had. Um, and that's that. Now, I am going to ask her to perhaps help me test a couple things okay so I just buffed this character with doctor buffs and we're going to see because I know actually that if you have any wounds you cannot get a stat migration it will give the image designer an error that you have wounds you have to go get your wounds cured by a doctor for the first six or an entertainer for the last three before you can get a stat migration but I've never heard anyone say one way or the other with buffs so we're gonna find out I'm gonna take a couple points away from uh, my focus here and a couple away from my willpower and I'm gonna add a hundred to my health and now we'll put the 100 back here. I just want to increase my health a little bit. Okay. So let's make sure we did that right. We still have 100. Yep, we have 100 points extra in health. So, at the end of this four minutes, we should see our health go up a little bit. Our health in here. Uh, instead of being 2607, should be 2707. Excuse me again. Wow. And once again, you guys do not have to wait.
Okay. So countdown's over. Accept. Accept. And hey, we did! It worked! Good to know. So, alright, wounds are a no-go when it comes to getting stat migrations, but if you're buffed, it's fine. Apparently, that, that works just fine. Um... Let's see if she wants to say anything. Might as well. Not about me. There we go. All right. Uh, I do want to test one more thing. So before we end this, uh, all right, so here I'm over on Mobius. I did do a quick reset of my stats. I dumped all the stuff from my mind and filled up my health. And I just want to see now if I travel, does that get reset? Let's find out. And survey says... Any day now? There we go. No, it did not. Alright, so if at some point there was a bug that reset this upon traveling, um, they fixed it. So you can actually travel now and these your, your changes in here do not get lost. Alright. So that is really all I can think of. Oh, no, there is one more thing on stat migrations. Um, let me do it this way. The only other thing that I can think of is when you create a new character. I'm just going to create a random dude. I don't, it doesn't even matter. Whatever. Here we go. Profession doesn't even matter. Name doesn't even matter. Okay. Aww. Oh. Alright, well. I gotta restart my client to get that to work. Maybe. Maybe it'll work? Okay, no, it worked. Okay. So, when you create a new character, and the very first thing that happens to this new character is you're on board this space station where you have to use this terminal and pick a destination, while you're in this room, you can actually make free stat migrations before choosing your, your, your starting location. Check that out. So as soon as you make the changes to these sliders and click OK, the changes immediately occur. So if you know ahead of time what you want your stats to be when you're making a new character, you can make those changes from this room without the need uh, of, a, of an image designer. All right? That's, that's the last point that I can think of. This guy now, Briku Fui Zanus. <laughs> I'm gonna delete him. Uh, but yeah, 
I hope this video has helped you guys understand uh, stat migrations a little bit more and understand uh, what you can and can't do with them and what you should set your stats to based on what weapon you're using and whether or not you're fighting buffed or unbuffed. So leave a comment if this video helped you out. Give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Mobius1 here and I'll see you next time.